name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. Also, I do uh, delivery. Interbed helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in and around Cape Town. Well, it's Monday, the 29th of August, and it is a month in. Wow, wow. It's just around the corner now that December will be here, isn't it? It's already one month of the season gone, and uh, it is racing in Kabeja, where we race at uh, Fairview. There's eight races on the card. Welcome to this GTV preview, race by race, and we'll end off with the shortlist as well. Well, let's go to the race number one and have a look at the field. Race number one is at 12.30, it's over 1,200 meters, and um, this will start off the part pot. And just a form update on a few runners here, they all ran on Friday behind Dami. Uh, the best of the three runners that ran behind Dami was number five, Chariot Master, running second, beaten a half a length. Back in fourth, beaten four lengths, was number three, Trump's Express, and back in fifth was number one, Gum Gum beaten five and a half lengths, finishing fifth. So second, fourth, and fifth for numbers five, three, and one, respectively. That's the form update from Friday behind Dami. Well, of these three runners, obviously, Chariot Master, and keep an eye on all three, uh, see if they race. But uh, if they do run, I think Chariot Master obviously looks to be the pick. Uh, last time out, uh, did the show with Sheldon, and we did make this a place accumulator banker and went down a close second. And if taking that run well, which is just three days, uh, then I think uh, we'll also be competitive here, number five, Chariot Master. And then the other two in the race come from the form line behind uh, that horse called Russian Empire. And uh, there wasn't much that separated number seven, Potente, and number eight, uh, Siberian Fox. So obviously, in a small field, the draw advantage is with Siberian Fox, who enjoys racing up handy as well so we'll be there for free with calvin habib up but i wouldn't discount the chances of potente with the services of richard Faree. it is a small field so the draw not as important when we have bigger fields on the poly track at uh, uh, uh fairview so this 1200 meter trip what are we going to be doing in the first race well i personally think that uh, these three horses should be good enough uh, for the bipod uh, numbers five, seven, and eight, I think, should be good enough for the bipod. Obviously, we're going to keep a close eye on number five, Chariot Master, if that races. But I think between Potente and Siberian Fox, if I have to choose one of the two, oh, it's a tough one. But I think I'll go with the horse that's better drawn. I'll go eight, Siberian Fox. So with the way we're going to tip them here will be five, Chariot Master, if it runs and it's taken that run well, will be the top choice to beat eight, Siberian Fox, seven, Potente. I think your winner should come from one of those three runners. And uh, bipod players, well, include all three. I think you have a big chance to double up. It's good fun. Days like these are, are great. You get the whole industry together. Um, and to have, you know, companies um, and corporations like Interbet and Cape Racing who are uh, so generous with um, sort of time and, um, and energy into, into making a day like this possible, is, uh, it's, it's fantastic for everyone. Mm -hmm. 